In this video, I'm going to show you how to put multiple drawing sheets together from one design file with multiple components. We're going to use this puzzle cube here to do that. Okay, let's get started. So here's my puzzle cube, and I'm ready to do a new drawing from a design. We can do that a bunch of different ways. In this way, I'm going to make it easy and just right click where it says the name and say create drawing. I want the full assembly. We're going to create a new drawing from scratch in the ASME style in, U in inches. But I'm going to select the first one, 8.5 by 11, and click OK. Now immediately it gives us a base view. For this first page, it's kind of like our title page. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient this to give us a few different views here. In fact, there are four different isometric views that it gives us. And so I'm going to choose all of them. There's the first one. And I'm going to make it shaded. I'm going to click Base View again, different than what we've done before. Select the second one, like so, and shade that one. And we can see just so on. Next one here, we shade it. Try not to have them touch. And then one more, the last one, here, and we'll shade it. It's kind of like our answer key for our title page. Get a bunch of different views of our puzzle cube drawing. So now we have a drawing sheet. On the bottom, you can actually see a plus sign to add another one, but we're not going to do that. We are going to just save it where we're at. So I'm just going to go up here and click Save. It automatically gives it the name with the drawing, so we'll just leave it that in our activity folder. So let's click Save. And now I'm going to go back to my design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my first component, which happens to be this one, which is green. And I'm going to figure out what is the best front view. Is it here where it says front? Can't really see something behind there, but it does have the longest dimension. Or maybe is it here where there wouldn't be as many hidden lines behind it? So the right view in my instance would probably be the best front view that I could have. And so uh, for this piece. And so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go where it said green, where it was activated, and do the exact same thing. Right click and say create drawing. And now when I create this, instead of saying new drawing, I'm going to drop down and add it to Mr. V's puzzle cube drawing. That's key. And then say create a new sheet. So pretty simple. And then I'm going to click OK. And if you remember right, I liked the right view as my front view. So that is going to be my base view. We'll put it down over here, just like so, with hidden lines. Click OK. I'm going to select Projected View and project the top one, this one, and this 3D view. And then double click or right click and edit the view for the 3D so we can shade it. And now I can start putting dimensions on there. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and we'll start putting some dimensions on there. So as we learned before, how many features does this have? We have an overall feature, and we have a couple different cutouts here. And so I'm going to start just on this front view and dimension from the bottom to the top. I'm also going to dimension from the bottom to the next level here, put it there, and those are both of my height dimensions. With the width, I'll go side to side here, and one more here, like so. So that's my width, and now I'll need my depth, and I can put that either on the right side view or the top view. There's the overall depth, and then one more here. Now the nice thing is, that actually describes the entire shape. I don't need any more dimensions, and I can create this entire shape from using just those dimensions. So the dimensions look great, except I don't know what units they're actually in. And so to know that, I'm going to go over here to Document Settings, and then there's a little Edit button next to it. 
and we'll look at these document settings. And if I scroll down to where it says units, what I can do is I can hit this little unit abbreviation button. And then when I click OK, it automatically puts inches behind all of my dimensions. It's another spot where we can change the size or the font. And so now we have two different sheets. We have our assembly one and we have our first cube sheet here. So after I'm done with that one, I'm going to click save again. The nice thing is I already saved it once, so I don't have to give it a name. And then I'm going to go back to the design. And let's jump to the next piece, which is the blue one in this case. And which is the best front view for the blue one? Is it the actual front here? Maybe it's this one here. I think both of them can argue that they can be the best front view. I'm going to choose this right view again and say that that's my correct front view or one of them. And so let's go right click blue, just like we did before with the green, create the drawing, go a little quicker now. Instead of a new drawing, we're going to add it to the other one with a new sheet and click OK. And it's not the front I'm going to choose, but the right side is I feel at the best view. We'll click there, click OK, and then project the rest of the views like so. And that gives us a nice 3D view. I double click that 3D view to make sure it's shaded. And then I can start putting dimensioning on this sheet. Just to show you again how easy it is to dimension overall width, overall height, overall depth, if we want to do it this way. You notice you don't always have to do it the same way. And then I have one I'm going to need to put right here and right here. And also one right here. Notice how I can still see the hidden line there, but I can't here because of the dimension line. So what I did is I selected too far down. So let's go ahead and delete that one and try that again. Dimension, and instead of clicking all the way down here to dimension, I'm going to click this point right up here. And now we can see the dimension is correct there. So we can still see the hidden line. The nice thing is this one is it's very simple to do because it has all these easy dimensions both height dimensions, both width dimensions, both depth dimensions, and I'm ready to go. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for all of our components. However, when you are completely finished, we're gonna save it just like we did before. And when you click export as a PDF, you'll be able to see that one of the options is selecting all sheets. And so if we click all sheets and click okay, it will actually ask us to save it and open up and we can see that it will have one file to submit but have each sheet is its own page in the file and we'll have that so we'll have six total a title page and then we'll have five sheets one with each of our cubes all right so that is how we would create sheets multiple sheets in one drawing file inside of fusion 360.